Oku Jr. Take me away! Well, just back to where I was before. <laughs> yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I hope this doesn't reset stuff in the dungeon that I'll have to, you know, set back in place when I go back to the lower floors, especially for that pole. And... wait a second. Is this... What? Hey, what? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Well, they did put me on the lower level. That makes me sad. Yeah, I had to do this statue puzzle again, but whatever. So, play. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Come on. I know this works. I just did it in the last part. Come on. Oh, oh, oh that works. <laughs> Alright, so let's finally go through this door and see what is up. Uh oh, we're locked in. I'm feeling claustrophobic. But actually, this room is not that bad at all. We got these armos guys. Just attack them from the back a few times. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And I bet you there's some hearts in here. Yeah, that's what I thought. And thank you. Thank you. I, I wasn't sure about that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> wait, 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 I've seen that. There's another heart over here. Okay. And come on, swing your thing. Swing your thing. As a, I was a poet and didn't know it. That works a little better, I think, actually. Perhaps I should have been doing that all the time. There we go. Now that I have them out of the way, I can look around here and... Treasure chest! What's inside here, anyway? A key or compass? Some... Ow! A compass would be kind of helpful, actually. You know just to make sure I didn't miss anything in other rooms, but no, nah, it's a small key. It's for that room that's straight across on this floor. But I would like to see what else is over here, because there's those statues there, and I need to do something with that one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, at least... But I can't do that right now. That's kind of a problem, so I guess I'll come back here later. I'll show you how to do that little statue puzzle when I get the item required. Uh, I noticed something that's a, that makes this room a little bit easier to go through is if you follow these blade traps all the way around like that. It makes it so much easier and takes the guesswork out of, um, you know, just wondering where the poop they're going to come from, if, if they're going to clip you from both sides, that sort of thing. Oh, I need my bow in this room. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I don't think so, Bobby, buddy. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so first hit that. Watch the doors change. See how they slide from one slot to another? That's the puzzle of this room here. Is you f you have to keep hitting that switch from various places. In this case, since this door closes out when you hit that switch, and you know you have to come through here, what you got to do? Stand on the circle. That's the best way to do it. Aim through the hole and. You're serious, right? <laughs> and hit the switch with your bow. That's how I got my bow out when I entered this room. Okie dokie. I'm going to get this guy gone. Awesome. I, I think I was actually slightly off in my aiming there, but it all worked out anyway. Now this second one's a tad harder because I gotta shoot through two holes. But wait, wait, wait. Actually, what is this? The compass? Woo! Okay. <laughs> so I see there is a treasure chest in the other room. And that's why I want to hit that switch, but I didn't want to, you know, miss that treasure chest on over there. So now I go up here, and you'll see I'm leading to the room with that treasure chest. Ah, there's a false. You're only but a warm up. <laughs> Sadly for you. Hey, that was a slightly different Lizafolse. It had a skull helmet thingy on there. I don't think that was the armored Lizafolse. That one's coming up a little bit later, though. In fact, I think it's in this room. Uh... Oh, I see that. Boop. Okay. I was a little worried I was too close to the fence, but whatever. Oh, no, wait. That's not an armored Lizafolse over there. Just a regular roll is a false. <laughs> ah, there's the armored one. 
Uh, you got, their best bet is to wait for them to attack you and then sweat ah, and then attack like so. And I missed my finishing blow, but that's okay. Because they have armor on their front, you have to attack them from the back or try and get a hit, you know, on the, the lower section. But it's kind of tricky to do at times. It de it's definitely best to do that, you know, go around them from the back using that that move thing. <laughs> Uh, well, I know I have to sit, hit that switch, but I'm just wondering, wondering what that circle is for, because it's not like I need that circle to aim my shot or something like that. <laughs> kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, I know there's going to be an ambush. Well, it's not so much an ambush, but he's just thrown the corner there. Oh, delightful. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do on the other one. Really finishes the job quickly. That's why I said it was a little bit too late on the finishing blow. Yeah, I don't know what those circles are for. I know in the other room they were, you know, to indicate where you should stand when you shoot your shot, but mm, not here. <laughs> uh, I can't get that treasure chest just yet because I, I still need something and I will grab that heart. Or at least I don't think I can get that treasure chest just yet. Although, I think the room that I get the thing is coming up shortly. Or maybe not. More Goma. And their babies. <laughs> um. Should I. Hmm. Ow. Oh, this. This room is really annoying. I, I recognize what this room is now. I, I was trying to think what it was for a moment. This is the scale room. What you gotta do here is get enough statues on one side of the scale, preferably the back side, so that you get it to weigh you, so that you don't do this, basically. See that? Yeah. And then you can't reach the other side. There is a little skip that you can do in this room. I, I'm, I'm gonna attempt to pull it off here. Uh, 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 uh. Aww. What, you, what you're supposed to do is side jump and sort of cheese the scale a little bit. Maybe I, I, I've never tried pulling this off before. Oh, oh, I almost had it there. You just can't do a roll. Let's try that again. Wait, wait, wait. I hear a pull. Hmm, interesting. Come on, I would like to pull this off. That would be very fun. Eh, eh. No, 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 no roll! Oh, screw it. <laughs> but yeah, you can cheese that just by side jumping, because you'll notice that when you're in the air, it decides not to go down, basically. Yeah, that's 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 why the side jump thing works, and it, it completely obliterates the scale's factor of, you know, not letting you get across there due to weight alone. And I, what I want to do here first, actually, in this room, is not cheat the scale, but is clear these guys out here. Because I'm going to have to carry a bunch of statues up there. I think it takes like five or six statues to do this. And it's it's kind of annoying and time consuming. Uh, maybe that's enough. That could be enough. I'm not sure. But I know that I want that out. And I need the spinner for the upper level. Because what I can do with this is... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought... I thought you could grab these with... Or is that only when I get the dungeon item, or... Hmm... Let me try... Oh yeah, I already got that out. Just for the fun of it. I guess I can't get those down from there. I must be thinking of something that's a little bit later. But what you want to do right now, throw statues on the other one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That works. Maybe that's only when I want to get up to the higher level, is when I want it to weigh more than me. Yeah, because I need, I need to grab onto that to get to the upper thing. And yeah, you get the idea. Because I can just go right across like that, with just two statues. No problem whatsoever. There's a statue down there. Uh, there's the pole. See it's lantern over there. Um. Hmm. Can't climb on that. I thought I could maybe cheese the uh, the uh, claw shot target there by getting a little bit. Cl oh God! A little bit closer. Please don't hurt me. I, 
think I was a little bit off on my aim again, but it seems to be very lenient about that. <laughs> follow them around. Follow them around. Lizaphos. At this point, they're just like a waste of time. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, that's done. Oh, this room. You gotta look out for ye old spike rollers here. You don't seem all that healthy. Oh, there. Ah! <laughs> no, no, no! You know what? That works. <laughs> I somehow managed to get knocked up there, but whatever. Alright, I wanna go over. Here to the safety zone. Ah! <laughs> this is kind of troublesome. <laughs> ah, whatever. I need one of those actually to get across there. I'll just. Although, do I want this or do I want a pot? Because I can shoot the pot later. Then, if I need to, if this if this is like a double trigger switch thing. You know, like that other room where I had to shoot the pot in order to uh, get up the stairs because the other thing opened and yeah, you get the idea. Oh, I think this is the the room where I get the dungeon item. Actually, I could be wrong though. I should just gently swing as I run around and kill off these critters. Although they're quite cowardly when you're going after them. No, 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 I don't think so. What hit me? <laughs> I really didn't see what hit me there. Ah, oh, whatever. Alright, you? No, not you. Nor you, too. Oh, that, I had it. actually had it there. Dang it. <laughs> well, I want to do that. Swing around. Swing around. There we go. It's kind of hard to avoid taking a hit when you attempt to knock them from a distance like that. I mean, not, not knock them from a distance, but I mean, when you go around close and around the back, I don't know how you would hit them from a distance, though, actually, come to think of it. Well, I need one of these, clearly, for that switch. I'll just plop that there. I'm not exactly sure what that... It just broke my pot. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, what? That? Maybe that switch triggers that platform? Maybe? But I. Am I supposed to kill off all these guys before the treasure chest in this room will appear or something? I might as well, because <laughs> I did, like that other room that I didn't remember having to kill off all these critters. I did, you know, to open the little shortcut back to the original area. Ah, there we go. Now, is this the room that I get the dungeon item? Or is it a heart piece? Probably a heart piece. Or not. <laughs> I know I'm getting close to it, because I, I need the thing to solve the puzzles on the way back. My- oh, 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 it's this one. There's a dark nut in this room. It's the mini-boss of the dungeon. You guys remember dark nuts from other Zelda games, don't you? Yeah. See, I knew I was close to the thing, but... Didn't know how close. Hmm, that statue looks familiar, doesn't it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Bring it on, dude. Let's do it! And this is quite the formidable enemy. What you want... <laughs> what you want to do, really, is get around his to the back and... Swing like that if you can. There might be. There we go. 
You gotta knock off his armor before you're able to do damage to his body. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I know it can be done. Swing around. Oh. Roll around. Come on. You guys should be going around the other side because a shield is on that hand. Yeah, that works a little bit better. I must be more observant. Oh, wait, maybe not. Or maybe I just got a lucky hit on the other one. <laughs> Come on. Once I knock off all of his armor, things will get a little bit more ugly. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. A little bit more. There we go. Phase two. And now, whoa, geez. And now he's a lot more aggressive. I'll whip out this sword. And he's super fast. Well, super fast in comparison to what he was before. And he's quite good at guarding your attacks, actually. Ow. Look at all the armor on the floor, by the way. I think that's a nice touch that they... It's like the, the remnants of the battle as we're going. But I think you get the idea of how to defeat this guy. I'm being a little bit sloppy, but... That's what happens when you commentate while playing. <laughs> there we go, the battle is done. You are a worthy adversary, but not worthy enough, I'm afraid. <laughs> By the way, you can do that little sword flip thing that Link did after you defeat certain enemies. But just by standing still and pressing the A button, I never demonstrated that yet because I keep forgetting how to do it. It's it's a matter of shield sheathing your sword in a fancy way, basically. And here is the dungeon item that I was looking for, the Dominion Rod. You can use this to control various statues throughout the dungeon. In this case, I'm going to use it... Uh, do I... I wonder if I need my spinner out. Spinner, spinner, chicken dinner. Um, I'll, s I'll swap out the boomerang. Okay, so what you want to do here... Shoot the orb into whatever statue you want to take control of. And... The statue will come alive and be in your control. How you control it is you simply move around. It mimics and mirrors your movement. See that? It's very, very simple to control it. And if you were to, say, swing with the B button, you can use it to hit things. Well, only certain statues can do that, but that's a part of the puzzle thing. All right, come on, follow me over here underneath this bell-like thing. You'll see why in just a sec. Come on, right there. There you go. Now, what is what exactly does this accomplish? I mean, it, it makes it go bye-bye. Well... It opens that door for one, but it does other things as well, and you have to do that in order to progress. I'm going to show you more in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.